Dr. Regalado, what do you think some advantages are of teaching a class outside? Well, um, ad advantages to it, um, obviously, you know, we were talking before you filmed and, and the notion that we could uh, save energy if we did more of that. Um, I, I think um, there's also, you know, uh, a lot of benefit for us in terms of breaking routine. A lot of times when we do stuff outside like that, uh, people do get students to get a little bit more lively because you're doing something that's, that's uh, novel and different. In South Florida, there's always a thunderstorm and it's 110 yes. degrees outside. Yes. What do you think some disadvantages are to teach? Well, you mentioned some of them. Unpredictability um, and um, often the heat. Um, sometimes insects, depending on the time of year. Um, and I think also the possibility for people that are going to be intentional about saving energy and doing that sort of thing, we, we have to be prepared for the possibility that it will be a sacrifice. So in other words, a student who says, you know what, we're saving energy, so we're gonna go outside and we're gonna do class in this way, needs to accept the fact that it might be uncomfortable to do that and be okay with it. If, if the goal is to save energy, and they know that that's a worthy goal, then they have to say, okay, well, I'm going to be mature enough to go outside to accept the fact that it's that it's uncomfortable, and um, and to make that sacrifice. And still, you know, basically, still be determined to remain focused and make that sacrifice. And what do you think some advantages are to doing class outside as opposed to inside? Um, it, it saves energy from the lights being uh, on. Yeah, I'm glad you gave that as an answer because um, we're realizing now that over like half the energy source of the entire country is coal, which is a non-renewable resource, which is what we're trying to cut back on here to say, please turn off the lights. Yeah. Yes, I have. And I've noticed that a lot of teachers aren't really using the lights as often. And I think that if we're going to save energy, we can turn off the lights to do some passive things sometimes, or a lot more teachers take us out. Did you know that half of our nation's energy supply comes from burning coal and then another quarter comes from using natural gas. It sucks. Yes, it does suck.